Throughout Fortnite history, we've seen many insane clutches, some of which resulted in players earning hundreds of thousands of dollars off of them. So today, we're going to take a detailed look at the top 10 best clutches in Fortnite competitive history. Coming in at number 10 is Benji's insane Dreamhack clutch. During the finals of one of the solo Dreamhack events, Benji was performing quite badly and found himself towards the bottom of the leaderboard. So when it came time to the second to last game, nobody would have guessed that he was about to make a play that would be a highlight in his career. Right now, he's at 100 plus, oh he's God. at 115, and he's not done yet. He has chug splashes, minis, and big pots, and then gold spaz and a gold AR. He's in such a good no spot, way. Benji's gonna get another one, that's gonna be Rotary. Benji is going insane, oh Benji's gonna get one more. Benji is on an absolute running rampage. Three builds, pump from high ground, drops to low, blocks it off, another one. My God, Benji, the pump oh. to back, 180 degrees, no, 360 of total carnage. Benji Fishy, nine eliminations, the God Run, the curse broken, oh. another 200 pump, low ground, dominant. Ferox taken out, the next one, Benji blocks it, does he get the one pump, it's blocked, he's there for the next, Benji, Fishy, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I'm so good, what the now that clip from Benji ended up earning him around a thousand dollars, but this next one ended up earning the player over fifty thousand. And that's Mr. Savage's World Cup Shadow Bomb play. Mr. Savage has been one of Fortnite's smartest players for years now, and this iconic clip helped him get this title. But what not many people remember about this moment is that it actually qualified him for the World Cup Finals. Going into this game, he needed to drop a pretty high kill win to have a chance at making it. So when it came down to the final moments, he needed this win. An 18 rocket grenade launcher, but, but Mr. now Savage finds a shot. Is the person who yeah. will make it work. He is so innovative. What? And he takes out me too. This is what I was talking about. No that way. matters. Sad Aqua. Back now, top four. Folks, you might be witnessing live why Mr. Savage qualifies this week for a trip to the World Cup Finals in New York. An idiot, Mr. Savage M. Building on up, 22 builds remaining. The spray comes in at 72 tag, another elimination. Now Ada limbs this game. They've got to go up the side of a mountain, and it's shadow bomb time. Look at how awkward this is. Out. He's getting completely blocked that out. He's deciding to take it more damage. Yes, it's just oh, oh, no, no, my my God. God. oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my goodness! What a play! Are the you best shadow bomb use I've ever Scene. Number 8 is Yandy's solo clutch. This is our first of a couple FNCS reboot round wins. During the Chapter 2 Season 7 FNCS semifinals, Ziandi's trio ended up getting contested, so they weren't able to place highly enough to make the grand finals. However, they did manage to get 13th, which meant that they barely qualified to compete in the reboot round, where only one team who wins makes it into the grand finals. They eventually made their way into the endgame and found themselves on height, a dominant position. But when Sean VT and Chashi went down, it was up to Ziandi to pull off a clutch of a lifetime. And it is Chashi at height alongside with Ziandi who won a cash. Come on, it gets broke up! What a huge chop! So many people, and it is to play well with Apex's Crazy. Number six now has to deep dive into his heels, so maybe still another alive. chop. The second chop, and he lands. Thursday is still looking forward, and he finally spots him in the storm. He's up oh. in the time, and there's nothing. It's run out. Hitting up the feed, and one loss has been eliminated. Legend has been eliminated. Snag has been limited. But Andy, can he do the solo clutch? We've already seen some insane clutches here for the reboot rounds. This would be one of the best of all time. Is able to hold down. He gets elimination no. already but he loses his advantage, but he gets a knock on Steelix here. He's gonna have to hold on now. People shooting in the backside. He's gonna do another, he doesn't see him. Oh my goodness, Shio. He's gonna get the siphon and he has six cabbages. Might just be enough, Andy, the solo man. Ruben took height, he just went all the way towards the top, clutched it with a sneaky play at the end. They've won the first game of reboot round. Number seven, Peterbot's semifinal solo win. Now I was debating on whether to put this higher up on the list since this clutch was pretty insane but I think the rest of them are just a little bit better. This win happened during the Chapter 3 Season 1 FNCS semifinals, where duos had only 5 games to either win one game or come within the top 6 most consistent teams to make it to the Grands. Going into the very last game, it was looking really bad for Peter Bond and Quanti. There was pretty much no way they would be able to qualify off a of consistency. They needed to win. But Quanti ended up going down before the moving zones even started, so all hopes seemed lost. 
But this is Peter Bot we're talking about, one of the most skilled fraggers in the entire game. What? I am trash. Nice. Wow, you're crazy, bro. Peter Bot has a chance here. It's all gonna come down to these Elans right here. He might. No way. He might actually find this one right here. He's got cold in his sights. He's looking up for high ground. Can he actually win this? Doesn't realize Spirit Bone crew were there, but the flip shot was even better. Oh my gosh. Peter Bot. No. no way. Cold versus Peter Bot here for the sixth place position. Peter Bot comes all the way down. He's just down tapping. He gets the second one as well. Peter Bot is incredible. What an incredible oh. play. Oh, oh my god. god. I'm so good. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Number six, a Wrigley solo clutch. This one is extremely similar to Zandy's, but the difference is that it was way more insane. This happened in the Chapter 2 Season 7 FNCS reboot round, and they ended up making it there in the first place by just barely finishing in 14th out of the top 17 trios that made it in the semifinals. They were looking pretty good throughout the endgame, but later on in the moving zones, k and Dictating would get caught out and go down. So with barely any HP, it was time for Wrigley to make the craziest play of his career. Wrigley, another chug on my body, right behind you. You have cabbages too. You have my kids on Dictate's body. You good man, so. Get back, get back, and jump. Good job, hanging. 14 builds, 10 builds. 4 builds. You hit one of these kids 100. You might have to drop or use that amount. Nice! nice. What you all three! three. All, all solos, all solos! Nice! Two so kidding down there! Matt's build, build, build. Yep. I don't think he's gonna have charges. Two oh. builds, two builds. Nice. Place one more. Crack him. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Number five, a sprite solo clutch. A lot of people would say this is the best clutch in this game's history, and rightfully so. This occurred all the way back in Chapter 2 Season 6 of FNCS. Sprite Gabe and Tahi were battling it out at Sweaty Sands with Klix, Booga, and Bizzle for this entire season. Neither team wanted to leave and it seemed like they were just griefing each other this entire time. So when they both made it to the semifinals, everyone thought that both of these teams' seasons were over. But somehow, Sprite's trio was able to play 17th. Now this was extremely close because the trios that play 7th to 17th would compete in that reboot round. Where as you all know, they had one chance to win, and if they did, they'd make the grand finals. But later on in the endgame, Gabe and Tahi would go down. It was looking like a miracle run was over, but Sprite thought otherwise. Oh, we need to get, we need to try to get something. I'm dead, I'm dead on low ground. Oh, here's Sprite. Team on low ground. Nice. nice. Clover, Clover, and Flopper. Clover, and Flopper, mind you. 40 seconds until uh, down. What? Three Slurfish. Pop, pop. Nice. 300 mats. 200 mats. Four trio. Nice. 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 Get up, Slurfish. Seven bills. Pop, third. Seven bills. Top two. 1v2, 1v2. Two. Two. 1v2, you yeah, have one slurfish. Pop a slurfish. 13 kills. Coming up. No! Nice. He has to go through a building. Four builds. Four builds. He has to go through a building. Nice. Can I finish? No more builds. He's going up. Oh! Number 4, Hen's Solo Grands Win This clutch hands down has to be the most impressive showing from a player ever. During the Chapter 3 Season 1 FNCS Grand Finals, Queezy and Hen were in first place for the majority of the tournament, but going into the last game, nothing was set in stone. If they ended up performing poorly, there were still multiple teams that could easily overtake them. And when Queezy ended up going down early on, it was all up for Hen to solidify the FNCS Championship. 
Max has done so well to stay alive. He's done everything he possibly can and he won't stop here. Dealing damage, applying pressure like he has a teammate by his side. Six teams, six players. It's a solos effort, yes, basically. And Hen is going for high ground. 1v1, toe-to-toe -to -toe. up against Bubak. One edit, he's got no shield. Hen needs to win this. He has control. This is a solo clutch of your career, my friend. And you're about to win the effort, yes, if you hold on. No max, one armored wall. This is all he has left. Hen has everything. He's done everything. He's solo clutch. We know he has that ability. No materials left, but he still is able to apply damage. Won't get that elimination, but he will hold on. Starts to spray one more person in his way. This is goes down the low ground. All it has to do is wait. The drop down, the beam. It's almost enough. Hen has it. 1v1, 297 points. This is for the European Championship. All he has to do is take down walks, solidify it. He has enough points already, but do it in style, my friend. The VR is just in your grasp. Hen as a solo against the world, and he wins the European FNCS. Number three, Mongrels 2 HP Clutch to qualify for the World Cup Finals. Now, throughout the World Cup qualifiers in duos, Mongo was dominating with Mitro, even qualifying three separate times. But Solo's was a completely different story. It seemed like every week he was just getting worse and worse placements. But in the opens of week three Solo's, he would pull off one of the most insane clutches in Fortnite history. So that he can continue this path down and get through cover. Yes, two. Barely two HP. Are you going to do this, Marvel? No way. Yes, I, I don't think so. The drop in. Gets the shot off and gets the elimination. Mongrel literally putting on a clinic of why you need to pay attention what to what's going this? on. What is this? Everybody, are you kidding? Just me? fell. Picks up three balls. Launch pad. He's gonna launch pad off. Oh my goodness. Are you serious? Thirteen eliminations. There's still four players left, including him. Add it down! No way! Are you doing this right now, Marco? No way! Top three situation now. Couldn't get the time for the, for the minis earlier in the lobby. And now reloading the double RPG as well. Zoo is gonna go down in another one. Marco! Are you Stop. kidding me? I'm there done. is no Yo, way I'm you just did that. All right, I see you, Yo, Lupo. Number two, the Zextro Papa Bandage Solo Clutch. This happened during the very first game of the Season X FNCS semifinals, where you needed to place top 8 in order to qualify for the grand finals. So clutching up as many points as possible is a must to make it. Try to not crouch once to avoid doing that. Is he able to find it? He gets that going, but he gets sent oh. down. Will he be able to get, get back something? Pop a bandage! Pop a bandage! Zexor, pop a bandage! Son, please! Oh. Oh. Wait, don't forget oh. he has the double eliminations for the site, but it's gonna come through back. Can he get that? Oh, as he goes down, what is he? But what makes this clip even better looking back at it is that if he didn't end up clutching, they wouldn't have qualified for the grand finals. If you guys remember, he actually ended up winning that season, becoming the first FNCS grand champions. So technically, that play ended up making his trio $300,000. So that's why I had to put the second on the list. The number one clutch in Fortnite history, in my opinion, has to be the final 1v1 in the FNCS Invitationals, with Kami and Vino going head to head to determine the winner. Leading up to this point in the tournament, Kami and Seti were putting on a clinic, showing why they are one of the best duos in the world, even getting 4 wins throughout the 2 days of competition. So obviously because of that, they were at the top of the leaderboard the entire time. But there was just one other duo that was up there with them, and that was Queezy and Vino. They also showed the world why they were so good on height, getting 2 wins themselves. With both teams being so consistent, they ended up pulling ahead of everyone by over 50 points, which meant there was pretty much no possible way anybody could overtake them. But with Kami and Seti being 12 points ahead of them, they realized coming through with the win would be almost impossible, since Kami and Seti were playing so consistently that entire tournament. So in a last chance attempt, instead of playing out the game and hopefully winning, they decided to take the fight straight to them. Savage had that best drop at that time. Whoa! What is this? What is this? Queasy Vino are trying to take it by force! You only win in one way, and that's taking that crown! Vino is here! Queasy is here! Down goes Seti! It's a big trade! It's a one-on-one! -on -one. This has to be one of the most explosive head-to-heads we have ever seen! Vino has to get this first here. He knows now it means everything. We might as well seal this deal. Why wait? Double shield going out. He's trying to bait it. 
He's trying to bait the revive so that way Cammy might peek. Break through the wall. Shot's gonna be fired. And they do it. And as we all know, Kami and Seti would end up winning, becoming the first LAN champion since the World Cup. Now this list was just by opinion, and there's some clips that were really insane that I didn't mention. So comment down below what you guys think is the best clutch in competitive Fortnite history. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, we're trying to hit 100k by the end of 2024. Thank you guys all so much for watching till the end, I'll see you guys all in our next one, peace out.